Welcome to the uh, Plan Jazz community. Uh, my name is Sean Thomas. I want to thank you in advance for liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Now, once you hit that bell, you will be notified on our first video with some scales we're gonna start learning. Uh, the Pan Jazz community is about, as you can see there, we want to focus on the rich legacy of this music, especially the language. America's jazz music that is known to some as America's classical music. So what we're gonna do is the uh, Pan Jazz community, we're gonna tap into the language of this art form. Uh, Fortunately uh, for me, I was blessed to spend some time learning this music with some of the uh, jazz greats. I left Trinidad in 1995 to study uh, jazz at the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz. We were the uh, first seven students that were picked, were selected to start this um, wonderful program, which is now the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz. Here are some uh, photos. Um, this is us with Jackie McLean, when the great jazz Jackie McLean came. Uh, we had several masters that came to us, one being Winton Marsalis. We toured uh, India and Thailand with Herbie Hancock and the late Wayne Shorter, who just left us. But there was one person that came and really um, stirred things up for us. I mean, this person came and, and, and that was it. I mean, you talk about just learning a lot of stuff right there in that one week when this jazz master came and that was Dr. Barry Harris. He's referred to as Dr. Barry Harris, but Barry Harris was that musician that came and when he began to teach, um, I mean, all of the other six students, myself being the seventh, um, mind you, I left Trinidad as drums to study and be the first drummer in this program. So I, and I also took my tenor pan and learned the information that people like Barry Harris were um, sharing with the other six musicians, trumpet, saxophone, guitar, bass, piano, and uh, saxophone, right? Trombone, I think. I think I did say saxophone. So it's saxophone, trumpet, trombone, bass, guitar, piano, myself on drums. So I've been really um, blessed with studying this music with these wonderful musicians. And this music, it takes time. It really does take time if you are if you want to get into playing this music, it's it's uh, such a, a beautiful art form. Uh, it's kind of like, you could hardly describe the feeling of when you begin to play this music with other musicians, how it feels. And when you start listening to it, um, especially when you learn how to receive the uh, music, what to listen for, how to listen and all of, all of that kind of stuff. So this project, this, Pan Jazz community is one that is going to move in the direction of a Barry Harris workshop. So here is a, a little photo of what Barry Harris workshop looks like. And I've been fortunate to attend some of his workshop. I spent time with Barry. I also visited the uh, house he lived in, in New Jersey, which is the same house Thelonious Monk used to live. So. All of that information I received, um, I am actually now trying to see if I could share that with you guys. All right. Um, so the first video will start off with major scales. And what we're going to do is take our time and build. Now, this Panjas community, right, um, and it's Panjas for beginners when we start the first video. It's not designed for people who are just starting out learning to play the uh, steel band instrument. This is for people who already have 
a bit of understanding of some scales, how to move around the instrument and have an idea of the chromatic scale and some major scales, minor scales and what have you. And if you want to learn to, uh, if you want to learn the language of the America's rich legacy, which is called jazz, some of you know it uh, well. It is actually, to some, America's classical music. But if you want to learn the language, which for me, um, having spent time with this music and performing this music on drums and, and steel bands, more drums, I became to understand that the most important side to this music is rhythm. And that is something we will emphasize on because that is how you make this music. You need to have a, 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 a really fair handle on rhythm and how you approach playing your scales and all that kind of stuff will help. So join the community. Like I said, I want to thank you for liking, hitting that bell and sharing. Um, this is not for people who already think they all, well, I know this already. That's cool. Kudos to you. If you already know stuff and you continue to share, you know, how to make this music on this wonderful instrument, the uh, steel pan instrument, beautiful. Um, but if you know someone that this may help, please feel free to point them in the uh, direction of, we have a Facebook page, which is what you're gonna see here. And we have a YouTube page. So the first video is going to be um, shown to you guys. You're gonna receive it soon but once you subscribe you will get that notification all right so the uh, pan jazz community is about just taking our time and that i want to emphasize on that we need to understand that once we begin this you know uh movement going forward this is really about us learning how to treat these scales especially with the uh focus on rhythm um, rhythm is a very, very, very intricate um, device in music. You have rhythm, you have melody, and you have harmony. If you don't have rhythm, you may get stuck and you may think that I'm doing really good and what have you, but rhythm is responsible for freeing that person that is in you that wants to come out. Now, the beautiful thing about jazz is every musician that move in the direction of wanting to play this music, this music allows for you to create, to, to have a voice. And I believe that once you spend some time really understanding rhythm and taking your time, okay, so again, I'm gonna stress, we're gonna take our time and build one block at a time as we move forward. And what we are about, we are moving forward to musicians as such great jazz icons as such you would see some photos coming up there the great charlie parker bud powell dizzy gillespie bud um i did say bud powell thelonious monk so these are the type of uh musicians that made this rich legacy what it is of course several others before um, but we are moving in the direction of that style of music and one person that is going to help us do that when we step into some of what I've learned from this great human being Barry Harris when we get to some of his methods then we will understand based on the uh, foundation that we spent time with it's easier for us to really grow into what that is all about and like i said i'm going to emphasize and when we begin emphasis will be on rhythm taking your time this is not for people who wants to just jump in and start swimming we are going to make sure we have the necessary gears in place in order for her, for us to swim right and in this case of jazz swing right my name is Sean Thomas. I am coming from a family of music. My dad used to make all of these instruments and 
His mom, which is a photo you're gonna see now, was one of the first female to play the steel pans. Here is a photo of my dad working hard at it. And fortunately, my brother is managing the orchestra created by my dad, which is entitled Moods Steel Orchestra. You could check out a link in the description below just to get a taste of moods for Panorama this year. And I believe I may include one for last year with an arrangement by Carlton Zander. So I've been involved in the steel pan community from age seven. And I am really looking forward to connecting with you steel pan musicians out there and for us to work together towards creating a sound and easy going, keeping things real community. So like, subscribe and share and we're going to start posting videos very soon. You will get it as you hit that bell, you will be notified and we will kick things off with just one scale at a time. You'll be surprised how much information, especially again, I'm going back to rhythm, how much information inside of one scale, the way how you approach playing this scale, you'll be surprised what you'll find. So I'm saying bye for now and I'm looking forward to connecting with this wonderful steel pan community that we are about to build. I want to say, uh, give a shout out to organizations like Panch and Bago, um, When Steel Talks, and um, Andy Neal, Pan Podium. You know, all of these great people who are doing stuff out there for the steel pan community. All right, so stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and uh, we will kick things off soon with that first video. Bye for now.